Hey guys, it's Cameron here with Emerson Property Management. Every week, I bring you tools, tactics, strategies, lessons I've learned, things that help me build up a sizable world portfolio in about two years and now manage that portfolio. Today, I'm fielding a question from Kenneth. Kenneth asked, I get asked for proof of funds a lot, so is this where I would tell them I'm a wholesaler and ask for proof of funds from each cash buyer from my buyer's list? So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of inferring a couple things here again. The, the proof of funds, are they asking that because they don't trust you, because they don't think that you actually have the money? Um, I would, again, uh, you know, I mentioned this before, I'm always in the business of doing things ethically and not trying to pull the wool over somebody's eyes. If the seller is asking about you being a wholesaler, I would never tell them that you're not a wholesaler and then wholesale the property. You know, there's very, there's, it just creates bad juju. If you're talking to the, the title company, I don't like that bad karma coming back on me. If you're talking to the title company and they say something to the seller, it freaks them out because you're lying or you've misrepresented something. Um, it could come back to bite you in the rear end. So it just, yes, tell them you're a wholesaler. If you need proof of funds, go get yourself proof of funds um, to for whatever uh, price range you're looking at. And then, yeah, if you're dealing with your buyer, cash buyers, you should already have confidence that they're gonna close. If you don't have confidence that they're gonna close, then uh, you do need to be getting some proof of funds or something from them because your reputation is on the line if your cash buyers do not close. You go lock up a contract and you say, yeah, Mr. Seller, we're gonna close on December 31st. December 31st comes and goes and you're sitting there uh, your your uh, cash buyer didn't fulfill their end of the, the agreement or couldn't close. Well, now you look like a dummy. You know, you look like you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You don't look professional. So if you have to get proof of funds from them, from your cash buyers to make them feel comfortable or for to make you feel comfortable, and if the seller is asking for that, 100%, you can say, hey, I am wholesaling this property, right? I'm not the the one with all the money. I go out and do all this work and find these deals, and then how I get paid is I, I have this group, this really great network of cash buyers. This is my partner in, in buying this house, is what I would call it, or what we used to call it. You know, here's my partner I'm partnering with on this property. Um, let me get his proof of funds, and I'll, and I'll provide them to you. Um, if they're asking you for proof of funds, I'm not saying that's never happened to me before, but uh, more likely than not, you have not built enough rapport with your seller. So once you build up enough rapport with them, they know that you're serious. You know, you, you act professionally, you act like a business, you provide value, um, and usually proof of funds doesn't come up. The proof of funds would come up if, um, if they don't believe that you can actually close. So you should give no shadow of a doubt in their mind that you're actually gonna close unless you really aren't gonna close. And then, then uh, they, they have reason to, to believe that you're, you're not gonna fulfill your end of the agreement. So. Yes, you can provide them proof of funds. You can either get them yourself or get them from your cash buyers. You should have a lot of confidence in your cash buyer. Things come up, you know, dates change, things move, title work comes up, cash buyers um, have, <clears throat> have things that happen. So don't be totally discouraged if your cash buyers um, don't fulfill their end of the agreement, but just make sure you communicate that early and often to your seller. Um, it's so much easier to swallow a pill to say, hey, I can already see it's mid month. I can already see we've run into a couple snags. We're going to need to extend closing. Is that okay? Um, instead of waiting till the 11th hour and saying, hey, we got to extend closing, that is a tougher pill to swallow. So, Kenneth, I appreciate your question. I hope that answered it. If it did, let me know. If it didn't, let me know. We can go into it more uh, in, in further detail. Uh, you guys can comment below, shoot me a text, email. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all next week.